people who quit smoking has a good chance to relapse it is a very frustrating and a very disappointing experience because it involves a lot of time efforts and money the key is to understand what went wrong what were the common mistakes that could have been avoided in today's video i'm going to share eight simple and very powerful strategies that will help you to have success in your quit smoking initiative so let's get started So to understand the whole spectrum of the eight mistakes, I would request you guys to see the video till the end so that you do not miss out any key information. So the first mistake starts with M. M stands for measuring your success. I've observed and experienced that many a times when we need some external motivation, we kind of become a member of some Facebook groups or maybe some Reddit groups. Most of the time come through the posts like, you know, 15 days smoke free, five days smoke free. I'm just getting started. And somehow those are very motivating posts. Nothing wrong with that. But how you perceive them is a different ball game. When you are just starting off with the thoughts that I want to quit smoking and uh, will I be successful or not? You always compare your results with your last time attempt that was unfortunately failed. So when you get started and when you read this kind of post, you kind of compare your you know, success with those posts. Will I be able to reach to that level of 15 days? Will I be able to continue, you know, quit smoking for a month or two? Or is it going to come back? And the whole focus changes towards your problems rather than the action that you are just going to take. So my dear friends, please avoid this kind of comparison between this post and your own recovery. Everyone has a different time period. Everyone, is a diff everyone has a different temperament and willpower and a strength levels so it is better not to compare yourself with someone else and not to get too much attached with those you know result oriented post rather than focusing on your own self that yes i'm going to start today it's day one it's day two day three you're doing awesome rather than looking for an external motivation outside and getting some validation that yes am i doing good am i doing good am i getting the best things out of the responses in terms of likes or comments or is this something that i'm doing it for myself and appreciating my own efforts is enough for me rather than measuring my own success with other people second most important factor is the impatience if you do not have patience it is going to be a little hard for you to have a success in your next attempt so what happens when I say impatience? It's been a one week, what happens to my lungs? It's been a month, what changes my body is going through? It's a good thing to have on a positive manner, but it again helps you to put yourself off from your focus. You get too much attached with the, you know, the benefit that what will happen if I quit? What will happen in a certain time frame? So you kind of shift your focus from being into action and being into thought process one fine day some negative thing happens you know that is not according to your will or maybe you get into something uh, some argument or you're feeling very negative and that's only one small trigger you always needed to go back to smoking again and the relapse happens why because you do not have the patience patience is the most important virtue that you needed in this journey if you do not have good patience or good amount of patience it is going to be a little hard and you go back to your failed attempts and see that you know how impatient you were you dealt with a lot of withdrawals for a week and then next day or next week something happened and you just lost the control so my dear friends it's okay it happens we are all human beings we are tend to make mistakes but if we learn from those mistakes it is the most awesome thing that we can help ourselves to come out of these habits. Third mistakes that we go through is being too stressed. When I say stressed, whenever you start a new initiative that this time I'm going to quit once and for all, whatever happens, what, whatever it takes. And whenever the journey starts, you have to go through the withdrawal symptoms or withdrawals again. 
at that time you always go back to your previous memories and think that last time it was so hard to come out of this body pain or headache or maybe this cough maybe some you know pain in the chest is it going to be happening again is the intensity is going to be more or less than previous times and again you become more stressed towards it and feel that this is something that I really want to do but I'm not really ready. Stress is not very good for your quit smoking journey. You have to be very very relaxed when it comes to these attempts. Even if you fail, it's okay, it doesn't matter. But being stressed it becomes a hook for you so whenever you try to quit next time that memories that attempts are going to come back again to tell you that it's okay to be stressed why are you not stressed and that is not going to help you in the long run so before you start this journey and if you don't want to be relapsed again into the initiative you have to learn how to feel more relaxed fourth one the most important one is to be being thankful the journey when you start an initiative and if you are thankful towards it you have a gratitude that yes i am having an initiative i want to quit smoking for my own benefit and i'm thankful for this body for bearing an addiction for so long when you start thanking your habit your situations your stress your impatience your fatigue your anxiousness it becomes a little easier for you to deal with them and gratitude, being thankful, activates your positive energy in your life. If you do not believe me, just try it for a week. Instead of feeling guilty, instead of having very negative thoughts about this habit, be thankful. It came into my life to teach me certain lessons. It came in my life to teach me patience, self-acceptance and self-care. If you activate thank you in your life, it's going to help you rapidly in your recovery. Don't believe me, try it for a week and let me know how it goes. Fifth one is the appreciation. I feel that, you know, if there is a lack of appreciation, we always tend to look that appreciation outside. When we post on social media that I'm smoke free from last six months or maybe one month or maybe six days, you get a lot of good responses and somehow it feeds your morale or feeds your, you know, self that I'm doing the right thing but many a times whenever we do not seek any appreciation from others or someone is making fun out of it the whole exercise goes to drain why to seek outside appreciation when you can appreciate your own self the very easy thing to do is just pick up your hand put it over there and give yourself a nice tap that yes you are great, you've been smoke free from last six days. I'm really, really proud of you. You're an awesome fellow and you are going to continue this exercise and you are on a verge to become smoke free. Just hang in there, buddy. When you do this, you appreciate your own self that you've been neglecting for so long. You're looking for appreciation outside and which is temporary and it creates a dependency that if you do not get appreciated you do not feel fulfilled so the best way is to use your own efforts use your own self to appreciate your own self so simple appreciate yourself for whatever efforts you're doing even if you fail just say it's okay buddy no problem it is going to happen again and i'm with you we have patience and this is something that we have to master it. Rome didn't get built in one day. So do your habit. So don't worry, it's okay. Sixth one is called as kiss. Keep it simple and sweet. So when I say that, most of the time when we put any goal into a picture that I want to achieve this, somehow we make the whole process to achieve that goal very very complex because our mind is like that if it is not very simple we do not feel fulfilled that yes i've achieved something but in the relapsed journey that never helps if you do not make the journey very simple very small goal oriented it is most likely that you know you will lose interest in and you will lose your patience so what i mean by that is like you know deal with your craving one moment at a time if you're feeling the withdrawal symptoms, accept them. 
do not make any drastic you know changes in your lifestyle like i'm going to run for like two hours three hours i'm going to work out for the half day or maybe i'm not going to eat some some food for a whole week or whatever whatever etc etc that whatever you decide that is very very extreme in nature that never helps if you don't believe me just look at the past patterns that you've been followed that you know i will not go out with my friends anymore for a month and then one fine day you know, the double bubble bust and you just go and you someone offers you a cigarette and you start smoking again keep the goals very small very measurable and very simple so that you will have the sweet results of it if you keep it very complex it is most likely that you are going to fail like previous attempts so give it a try seventh one is and if you do this 50% of your recovery will be done from today onwards it's called empathy empathy for your own self many a times it happens that due to the society pressure peer pressure we feel that if we do not achieve something or if we do not do something we are not good enough and in that process we become very hard on ourselves for example i want to have six pack ab i will do a lot of exercise for that a lot of you know crazy diets for that just to feel good just to show it to others and gain that confidence but in that process we play with our body we play with our health and we do not get good results in the long run so whenever in this situation if you failed in your previous attempts do not be hard on yourself have an empathy that i'm trying i'm a human being i tend to make mistakes and that's how i learn that's the design of my life and that's the design of everybody's life if you do not make mistakes how will you come to know what went wrong and that's the whole process that if you empathize with your own self with your own efforts that it's okay i tried i'm going to try again i'm going to learn from my mistakes if you put this whole act as experiment then it works out that's how i quit my smoking i smoked for 10 years and 2 3 years i was struggling to quit this habit but one fine day when i used these simple techniques and simple tactics it really helped me to understand this process is very very simple we make it very complicated and the most important part is we are too hard on ourselves to get the results this is not a competition as i said earlier everyone is different everyone has a different temperament and they everyone has a different time so be in your own space be in your own journey and quit this habit with more empathy the eighth one the last one is called serendipity you remember last time when you quit smoking you found you had moments that you know yeah this is so simple why didn't i do this earlier this is so great i'm feeling so awesome i'm feeling more energetic my cup has gone down and i i do not feel the same cravings i used to feel earlier so what happens when you focus on the strength it becomes more easier for you to have motivation instantly but most of the time what happens as a law of life you will always get two things together that means a day is always followed by night happiness is always followed by sadness so if you are making a lot of efforts to quit smoking you are having positive intent in your life it will be followed by negativity but you always have a choice to focus on which aspect of your journey if you focus on the negative stuff that means you are pulling your own leg to come back into your addiction you always whenever you start your journey you always focus on the best thing that has happened in the previous attempt that how you were successful to quit for a whole month you dealt with your withdrawal so courageously and it was so simple for you after some time to deal with them but when you focus on the negative aspect that oh, i always fail why do i start smoking again i do not have a strong will power i'm not meant for this i'm not strong so you create a loop of thoughts or triggers in your neurons that means your brain so whatever you feel little discomfort or negative feeling so you feel that you can't do this 
that thing activates in your brain and it tells you that you can't do this let's start smoking and that's why your attempt or quit smoking initiative always goes to dream it's very very important for you to focus on the best thing the strength that has happened into your previous attempts that i did it last time i can do this now as well i dealt with my withdrawals last time and now that i've have the experience how to deal with them it is very easy easy for me to deal in this situation now as well so these are the common eight mistakes that if you avoid you're most likely to quit your smoking the most important factor in this journey is to have patience and empathy towards your own self that i'm a human being i make mistakes and i do not seek any validation outside but i always find my own efforts appreciating for my own journey so give yourself a pause next time when you have a success even though it is a very small success applause for your own self and appreciate your own life so my dear friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel let me know into the comment box if you have any questions i'll try my level best to answer them and just one simple thing to remember at the end of this video is smoking is easy quitting is also easy the only thing that is needed is your persistence if you have that nothing is impossible i'm anand i'm your smoke free coach and life is awesome start having more attention towards the good things thank you thank you very much